Like, it's, like, almost, like, cracked looking. It's weird. It is so weird. Hey guys, I am so stinking excited today, you guys. And as you could tell, I do not have any makeup on because we are going to be doing an unboxing and try on. And are you guys ready for this? Guess what I got in the mail today? Ah, I am so stinking excited. Oh, you guys, this has been long awaited, long, long, long awaited. I have been on this wait list for six months and I finally got off of it last month and was able to get May's box. So oh, I have no idea what's in this. I did not look at the email with the spoilers. I wanted it to be a complete surprise. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know this was shipped until this morning and then 20 minutes later it arrived on my doorstep. So I'm so excited. So for this unboxing, I would first like to thank Ipsy for finally taking me off your wait list. And I would also like to thank my subscribers for pushing me into, no, I'm just kidding you guys. <laughs> You guys know I like to joke around here. Okay, let's crack open this bad boy because I cannot wait. Like, I seriously have some high expectations, you guys. I hate to say that, but it's really true. Everybody keeps telling me this is better than BoxyCharm. You get Ipsy Glam Plus, and I have been waiting. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh. <sighs> okay, calm yourself. Okay. Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I never thought I would see those words, you guys. I'm not gonna open it though because it's gonna spoil the surprise. Oh my gosh, I see things. I see things. I'm just gonna show you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, the first thing I see in here is um, something I've never seen before, a company I've never heard of before. It is called Yenza Color Plus Face Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. Eight Super Black Essence. Oh, okay, so it's got uh, black sesame seed oil, black seaweed, black tea, shiitake mushroom, black rice, Korean black raspberry, nettle, and chia seed. Ooh, let's see what this has to say about this. Um, ever wonder how some beauty junkies have luminous skin, both barefaced and made up? Those of us who have to work for our glow can turn to this Yenza primer for help. It's exciting. Infused with black tea, shiitake mushroom, chia seed, and more nourishing ingredients, it helps correct and blur fine lines, pores, and uneven skin texture, all while giving you a subtle highlight. Well, you guys know how I feel about my highlight. I don't like it subtle, but I'm all about the glow on the skin from within. You know what I'm saying. Oh my God, you guys, I am so stinking excited. <sighs> okay. It is so pretty. It's got like a little rose gold top and bottom here. Oh my gosh. Don't ask me why I just smelled that, but I did. Okay, so it's kind of thick. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. It's definitely like comes out thick, but it's almost got like a color to it, like a skin tint. You know what I'm saying? Like, hmm, okay. That's exciting. I'm going to try it on here in a minute when we're done going through everything else. So, um, I'm excited. I'm excited to try that. Okay, next thing. Uh, Il Maquillage, Maquillage Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. Made in Italy. Ooh, so this is like Korean skincare and this is like Italy. I wonder if this is like around the world box or something. Let's see. Your dreams are your realities in waiting. Ipsy Daydream. So, I don't know, but I'll show you guys the packaging right there. Don't mean to blind ya. I have never heard of this brand, but if they're an Italian brand or if it's made in Italy, then that would probably explain it. I feel like though I have seen this label somewhere before. Hmm, I don't know, but we will try this out here in a minute when we do our try on. Okay, so I do see something in here that I recognize that I have definitely gotten before in another box, and that are these right here. There's three of them. 
Oh, you know what? I didn't tell you guys. I'll, I'll tell you at the end how much everything is and add everything up for you guys. So this is the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Oxygenating Deep Cleansing Mask, which, check this out. I, like I said, I have gotten this before. So I might put, I do love these. These are great masks and they are kind of expensive. Glam Glow products, period, are expensive. So I might actually put one or two of these if I can squeeze them out of my daughter's hand because she always tries to steal them from me. Um, but I might put a couple of these in a giveaway because I am getting ready to do a giveaway for you guys. And then we're going to have our 6K giveaway, which hopefully will be coming here soon as soon as we hit back to 6,000 subscribers. All right. The next item in here is from Wonder Beauty. It's the Wanderess Seascape Eyeshadow Palette. Hmm. Ooh, it looks like it's got a bunch of pretty colors. I'll show you guys that. And then on the back here, so they're kind of like, like, I don't know if you guys can see, but that's like a sea foamy green. It's called sea foam, actually. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so let's see if we can get this open. Come out. Come out. Come out wherever you are. Okay, and then the the front here just looks about the same. It looks exactly the same as the packaging here. So, ooh, it's got a little mirror inside, as you guys can see right there. And I'll show you the palette there. It's got a lot of shimmer colors. There is one, it looks like matte shade. Well, I don't know if that coastal. Let's, um, I guess let's go ahead and swatch it. So this champagne color looks like a... Ooh, oh my gosh. Now, let me say this. I don't like all of Wonder Beauty's products, but I have never tried their eyeshadow before. And that looks, I mean, it and feels buttery. So that's like the pink, and that's that champagne-y color um, called Sea Salt. This is Golden Reef right there. It's an orange, and then Sea Foam. Ooh, yeah, those are buttery, but they're kind of, if you guys can see, like clunking up there, like as I'm getting into them. So I'll be interested to see how these apply. And then last but not least, we have Coastal. <laughs> Ooh, so that kind of swatched patchy, but it was definitely buildable. Like I just kind of went over it a couple times. And yeah, it looks good. So there is one matte shade that's not a shimmer shade in here. Let's see. You guys can see that there. And it's very close to my skin tone. So, um, but it looks like a good transition shade. So as I said, we'll try it on. All right, last but not least, we have something from Ilamasca. It's a coloring pencil lip crown. Hmm. And there's two of them, and it looks like one's called Lust in Media. So you guys can see that. I don't know if you guys can read the little writing on the bottom there. Let's see. This one is the Media. I've been seeing all these like weird, simple companies. So, ooh, that's that's creamy. It's really, really creamy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's kind of like a reddish pinkish color. It's not quite red, but it's not, it's about the color of my Morphe sponge, honestly. So it's pretty. And let's see what the other one is. Oh my gosh, it won't come out. There we go. Ooh, those are really closely related. Yeah, so I'd say the first one is like dead on my makeup sponge. And then like the second one is like my scissors here. So they're very, very closely related. Like this one is just a little bit darker than that one. I don't mean to be flipping you guys off. Okay, so I'm kind of excited about this box, you guys. So let me go uh, wet my sponge and we'll beat our face. All right, guys, so it is time to try on some products and see how they apply. So we're, of course, going to start with this Yenza Tone Up Primer. We'll see if this is going to be like the last primer. Oh, wow, that's thick. That's really thick. 
So if you guys remember last month, I got this primer right here from Tarte, the Tarte Base Tape Primer. And for those of you all that haven't watched my video yet, uh, my Get Ready With Me video, I actually tried to use that in the beginning of that and it didn't work out. I actually put a clip in the video <laughs> where you can actually see the foundation literally separating off of my face. Okay, you can definitely like see a blurring effect, but does it minimize pores? Hmm. We'll see, I guess, here in a minute after I apply my foundation, how well it really works. Um, so I'm of course gonna be using the Dior Forever Skin Glow. This is the new formula. I really, really, really like this foundation. Um, especially for a summer foundation because it has SPF in there and this foundation actually has and I cannot remember that ingredient I'm sorry uh, I will put it down below but it actually has stuff in it to make your um, to actually make your pores smaller so and honestly you guys since I have been using it I have definitely notice a difference however <laughs> it's getting a little dark for my skin now where I've been wearing it and not getting any sun so all right let's pat it down it's probably my favorite part all right guys so since we're in the month of May and we're doing a beach theme palette I figured why not go ahead and do a beach day look you know very simple makeup look so we put our foundation on I don't see any separating or anything from the Yenza so that's good I did go ahead and put my Becca under eye brightening corrector on to save time along with my makeup base uh, for my eyeshadow which by the way you guys this Bella Pierre makeup base that I got in my sleigh box uh, in April, whoo, I have been loving it for a base for your eyes. It does crease a little, but you just like smooth it right back out right before you're getting ready to do your eyeshadow and you're good to go. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to get in this palette and see how it applies, which I'm really curious myself. So the first shade I'm gonna get into is this Sand Dollar right here, which is the only transition matte shade that we really have. So, you know, not a lot of options there, but I mean, this looks like a really cute, like maybe easy to travel to the beach palette, you know? So that's kind of cool. I mean, this is a really pretty light transition shade, like in the pan here, as you guys can see, but it's like, I'm definitely getting some noticeable coverage from it. Let's see what it looks like if we go into it a little more. Oh yeah, it's totally buildable. Very, it blends very nice. I will definitely give it that. It blends very, very nice. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is, um, I really wanted to get in this green and blue, but I've got red on today and I really, all right, so, all right, I got it. So I've really been digging the sunset eye looks. So we're going to maybe try to do one of those with this. All right, because there's this orangey thing here, Golden Reef. All right, so we're going to, man, that's like a foil shadow almost. Is he even going to pick up on my brush? Oh, yeah. You know what? That's totally a foil shadow, you guys. Oh, wow. Okay, so we might have to get some Mac Fix Plus for this. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's definitely, definitely a foil shadow. Oh yeah, finger all day. This is something you're definitely gonna have to use a finger to apply. Definitely, definitely. Oh wow, I didn't notice that that was a foil shadow until like the light hit it a certain way and I was like, oh damn. All right, let's see if we can, I don't know. It's definitely not as buttery on the eye as it is when you swatch it. And this just goes to show how different eyeshadows are when you swatch them than when you put them on the eye. So I'm just saying. All right, um, 
I'm gonna try a little bit of this sea salt, and I'm just gonna get a different brush because these foil, sh foil shadows are weird sometimes. And I'm just gonna go into this pink, this sea salt. Yeah, I mean, you definitely have to apply with a finger. And they're not like laying over top of each other really well. So last but not least, I'm going to use this last uh, Champagne Harbor here. The one that I really like the most. And we're going to try to pop that in the corner here. Now that one's going on pretty nice. That sea salt, that pink sea salt though, I was not digging that. Maybe, maybe I should just try to cover that up. I'm not digging the pink sea salt. All right, guys, and now that I've got our other eye done, let's try out this mascara. Now, I did put a little bit of blush on and just a little bit because remember, we're going to the beach, so you just want to look a little, just a little sun kissed. All right, I'll show you guys the doe foot on that right there. It's not my favorite type, but what I really care about at the end of the day is how the product applies. So, oops, everything's rolling off my table here. So this is supposed to give you high volume and intense curl. I don't really know that I'm seeing the volume, but I'm definitely seeing the curl. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like my lashes, I mean, they look curled and I haven't curled them. So that's kind of cool and a little weird, especially considering what the wand applicator looks like. Like, I mean, it's just one of those little plastic <laughs> applicators. So I wonder if it's like something in the actual, you know, mascara itself. I'm going to put some on my bottom lashes and see what that looks like. All right, guys, so I put some on my lower lashes and you can definitely see where it like curled them. It's so crazy. So there must be something in this formula that causes your lashes to curl because, you know, a lash wand would not cause your bottom eyelashes to curl. So there's definitely something in the formula with that. So I am now going to try this um, Ilamasqua <laughs> color pencil, lip pencil, and this is in the color Lust. So let's see how this applies. It's not bad, it's not bad. So I'm gonna use this lipstick, which is my Tristique in English Rose. And it looked like a color that would match good. All right, guys, I don't think that looks too bad at all. Uh, definitely a beachy color. I definitely think this Lust and this Tristique were actually really a lot closer together in color than what I originally had thought, but it does look very, very good. And I do like uh, lip pencils because it helps give you that nice, clean, sharp edge on your lipstick, especially when you're doing brighter colors like this. So it's time for my final thoughts on this box and totaling everything up and figuring out whether or not it's worth it. So the first product I want to talk about is this Yenza. So I definitely did notice a blurring effect from it. It definitely did blur out uh, all of my like discolorations and red marks and things like that. But I did not notice anything different from my pores. Now I will say this Christian Dior does a pretty good job of covering those up very well, but I'm just saying I didn't notice anything extra on top of what that normally does. All right, the second thing I wanna talk about is this Il Maquillage Mascara. So it was supposed to give you a high volume and a tense curl. Now, I did not notice a high volume. It didn't seem like it was any more or less volume than most mascaras, and I do have higher volume mascaras, but the curl on it, I mean, like bot top and bottom, it just blew me away. And especially considering again, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying like a little plastic wand, that was pretty crazy. So I definitely, definitely like that. And I mean, $25, it's kind of expensive, but I definitely, definitely liked it. 
All right, the third thing we're gonna talk about is the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Mask. Now these were three for $27. Now I already have these, so again, we didn't use this or try it on because I'm gonna put those in a giveaway, but I will tell you they are amazing masks. They are expensive masks. Anything Glam Glow is gonna be expensive, but they are amazing masks. And I do like them, especially for after I'm taking my makeup off at night. They're great. All right, so the fourth product we're gonna talk about are the Ela Mask Lip Crowns. So now these actually retail for $21 each, but Ipsy put them together as one item, which I really liked and appreciated. I also really love the clean, crisp little lines that they give my lips, which I love about lip pencils, period. And I love getting lip pencils, but these actually went on very smoothly, very buttery, and they actually went on very well over top of my um, lip scrub that I always keep on my lips. So so most lip pencils, I have a hard time going over top of this, but these did not, <laughs> oops. So these did not, and they went on really well. So these are actually really nice, good lip pencils, and I'm really happy to get these. All right, guys, so for our fifth and final product, let's talk about this Wonder Beauty Seascape Palette, which retailed for $25. Now, this did have uh, five shimmer shades, which we come to find out were actually more like foil shades, a majority of them. And then this had one transition shade, the Sand Dollar right here. Now, I will say that the Sand Dollar actually was really nice. It had a little bit of kick up, but not a lot, you know, any not, nothing more than any other you know, eyeshadow palette goes. It went on nice, it buffed out smoothly, it definitely was buildable. Now, <laughs> the other five shimmer slash foil um, shadows. So Golden Reef went on really good with your finger as you guys saw. Sea Salt, however, that pink, you guys, that pink, it just like cracked and was just weird. I'm not a fan of that. Now, this Champagne Harbor, right here i really did like that and i also put that up here on the top of my eye to highlight so that was really really nice and i really really did like that and now i didn't get a chance to use seafoam or coastal but when i swatched coastal it was a little bit you know patchy but after I took my finger over it a couple times, it did smooth out and was buildable. Now, would I say this is worth $25 or would even be a palette that I would normally look for and buy? No, absolutely not. Um, it was all right. It wasn't my favorite palette at all. To me, it's like a typical Wonder Beauty product. Like they're just hit or miss, you guys. I mean, you know, it's not terrible, but it just, you know, it was just so-so, which is, typical wonder beauty to me. So anyways, all together, this box this entire retail value was $154. And for the most part, I really enjoyed it. It was something different. Um, a lot of these, like, I really, really like this mascara. I really like that. I really love the lip pencils. And of course the glam glow mask, you can never have enough mask. Um, and those are expensive period. So, I mean, I feel like just these right here are paid for this box, which is $25. So with that being said this box was definitely worth it however i don't know if this is going to be as good as my boxy charm box that i'm getting this month i don't know what i've got yet but i know it's sitting right there i got it actually the same time i got this and that means it probably went out with the first shipment which means i probably got the good box this month we're gonna find out tomorrow so this is everything that i have for you guys today i love you guys so much and thank you for joining me once again as always i appreciate you all i'm gonna post some videos right here for you and i will check you later bye